My name is Nathan, and this is Core Imagination. Today, we're going to learn how to draw. We're going to use this book that I've got. It's called Learn How to Draw Disney's Winnie the Pooh. And it has lots of Winnie the Pooh's favorite characters. Winnie them himself, Tigger, Piglet, Kanga. Today, we're going to draw Piglet, see how well that goes. So what am I going to need to draw Piglet? Well, this book is a, is a good start. I'm also going to use an eraser, a pencil, and I'm going to use an ordinary piece of printer paper, because that's what I've got. Before we start drawing, there's a little blurb here about Piglet. So let's just read that. It says, Piglet. Piglet is a very small animal. He is little enough to be swept away by a leaf and timid enough to be scared by Owl's chilling description of a batson. Piglet's eyebrows and mouth usually show how he's feeling. So I have a feeling that Later on, if we wanted to draw a happy piglet or a sad piglet, we would have to keep that in mind. So let's get started. So here's the first page. <clears throat> so for step number one, we're going to draw a pear shape. Um, eh, maybe it's more like a teardrop with uh, a rounded top. So let's go around, down, and around, and then see if we can mirror that. Okay, so that's our step number one. It's not quite the same as what's in the book, but we'll see what it looks like. Next, we have to draw a head, and the head is a little tricky. It's kind of a flat kidney bean that overlaps the body and then comes around and closes off. <clears throat> now we're also going to draw some guidelines. So there's a belly line, there's the middle of the head. And there's the eye line and a nice round circle at the top. Okay, so now it's time to erase some of our overlaps. Okay, so this is what we've got. Let me show you. <clears throat> now, I don't know about you, but I don't really think this looks like Piglet. Tell me in the comments what you think this looks like. Okay, next we're gonna draw in some arms. They're just basically ovals. And the right arm's got a little bit more shape. It's more of a kidney bean. Now, what looks like a nose. Oh. Okay, we'll go with it. And a little contour line up top. Okay, now we're gonna erase a couple things. I think I put the nose in the wrong spot. So let's redo that. <clears throat> OK, 
Okay, so I've redrawn the nose area. Maybe I should draw a little lighter. Okay, so now we're done step three, and that's what we've got. Not quite piglet looking, but I have a feeling it's gonna start coming together soon. So, this circle we drew is gonna be the mouth, and the outline of the nose. That's cool. And then the arm gets completed. Most arms have two joints. Okay. <clears throat> cool, so we've got our arms. We're gonna add some feet. And that's where the center line comes in handy. Okay. So, well, those are lopsided. I'll go with it. And now let's erase a couple more guidelines here. Okay. Open that guy too. Yeah. I would definitely next time draw the guidelines softer so that they're not as visible when I erase it. Because it's pretty clear that I have to erase it all. Okay, so now I'm gonna give them a nose, bridge, kind of this curve at the top that my glasses are sitting on. And we're gonna give him some eyeballs. So he's got a cute little cheek. because he's smiling with his whole face. Another eye over here, and now the eyebrows. Okay. I'm gonna give him a chin. And we're gonna erase some more guidelines. Okay. Redraw some of the things that I accidentally erased. forgot the feet. We're gonna give Piglet some feet. See, so now you can see it's starting to look a little bit more like Piglet. We just gotta give him some ears and detail his shirt a little bit. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Now that we've got Piglet looking kind of like himself, it's time to give him some ears. Let's flip the page. Okay. So, for Piglet's ears, we're gonna put one in behind his head. Oh, that looks more like a antler than a, an ear. Let's try that again. Okay. That's not too bad. Let's give him a second ear. So this one goes in front of his head because it's on the side you can see. It's a little bit bigger too. Okay, 
Now let's erase the overlap. Okay, so let's erase some of the overlaps on Piglet's feet. Okay, so we've got his ears, and it's time to give him some design on his shirt. So we're gonna erase the middle line that we gave ourselves. <clears throat> and we're gonna give him a collar for his shirt. Now, it's pointing out to remember that Piglet is round and 3D. He's not actually flat. So what that means is we're gonna put the lines on his shirt kind of angled. And if we do it flat, straight across, then we take away his 3D shape. So we're gonna put his shirt on now. We're gonna draw like a honeycomb. look a little better if I make it a little wider and erase the overlap on his arm. So there you go. There's my attempt at drawing Piglet. If you guys think that you'd be interested in drawing him, then give it a shot and show me what you'd come up with. I am not a professional drawer. I just think it'd be interesting to learn how to do it. And if it helps, please subscribe and follow how far I come along. Thanks for watching.